my patience is wearing thin. My name is Dr. Sandman and I hope you're all doing fine and dandy. This is my January vlog of 2019. We're starting a new year and I'm out for blood. I uh, hope you so enjoy. So it's already the third day of the year and I am still very sad. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen it. Um, a lot of my friends in a while. I mean, I saw a couple of them like earlier this week, but like it was fleeting and I missed them. Um, yeah, but yeah, I'm going to poetry tonight. Like, I may be lonely, I may be really sad, but I'm alive and kicking and we're gonna make it work. It's 2019. This year's gonna be nice to me, right? Yeah. That's hilarious. And now I will yeah, not not go. Go. Oh. It is unfortunately the last Poet Society meeting that I will be able to attend before uh, the semester starts because I was dumb enough. <laughs> to uh, schedule a class for Thursdays from 6 to 9 o'clock at night and uh, poetry is 7.30 on. So, dumbass of the year and it's not even like 30 days into the year yet, lit. Coco and I be going places today and by places I mean uh, Hobby Lobby and Walmart. But you know, I don't get out of the house so like anywhere is anywhere, leaving is leaving and ew. Gross, my hair is parting. Stop it. Stop that. Gross. Stop. So yeah, like anywhere is anywhere. So I'm happy to leave the house. So oh, here's Coco. Um, so we just saw Zach off. Uh, well, that sounds like we just saw him at the airport. That's not true. <laughs> um, well, this was the last time I was able to see him before he went off to Florida, off to Disney Land. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna miss my buddy, but yeah. I'll see my sister, hopefully, um, if I make it to Disney, don't have the money for that, so let me know if you have the money for that. <laughs> I do not at this point in time. At this point in time, but one day. Uh, and we will go and we will see uh, Sister Zach and Sister Kristen. Sister Kristen, you <laughs> Get it? No. There's a song called Sister Christian. Oh, well, I wouldn't know it if it's not a country song. Oh, but it's, <laughs> it's from your, it's from like when you were a teenager, I think. It's an old, yeah. So no, I, I call anything past 2010 old. That's uh, there's, which is weird because like that was my childhood, and I'm not old. I feel old. I've aged like milk. We have to take it now. Dude, look at the bottom. I think it's a piggy bank. It's a <gasps> Triceratops bank. Oh, well, this is working great. Did you bite the straw? So I've got some shit for you. Today is the first day back at college for RA training. Um, <clears throat> first thing I want to brag about. Um, not really. Um, we did a bunch of different games, all the RAs. We did that for training to build teams, to, to 
for team building basically and one of them was flip cup and I had never played it before I didn't even know what it was and um, I got it on the first try and I helped my team win and then I got it on the second try the second round helped my team win again and um, I was like okay so here's the tea um, so I should not be up this late at night it is 140 and at one o'clock my boss he um, texted me he said hey I'm going out for some fast food you want something um I'm here to repay a debt because um I won a challenge last semester um, to not complain for a whole week and I won and he said all right one the one night I'll get you food because you're always asking me to do that <laughs> so and I was about to go to bed and I was like, no, fuck that. I can't eat anything here, so I'll take up this chance while I can. And I did. I was like, yeah, give me something to fucking eat. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> and um, he's like, okay, cool. And then when um, he got back, he said, okay, it's in the office. Um, I was like, all right, cool. And then I went down and we have access cards to get into the building and to get into the office. And we can get into all the buildings if you're an RA. Um, so I went in there to get in and I couldn't do it. And there's like a little um, entryway that separates the building and the office, um, and so which is still like technically inside the building, but it's technically not. And my access card stopped working, so I think he planned it, and I think he is trying to trap me. And I had to text one of the other artists to come and save me. Uh oh. I, yeah. mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you wanted to find one. Rig. Wait, can I do a solo? It's not a picture. It's Thank you, though. It's not pictures. They're uh, YouTube. I wouldn't. But that's YouTube. such a lie. <laughs> Raven, where are you? No, he Chase pushed me in there. No, he didn't. Or you said hold my tube, which is more like you. Be careful if he's lying. Chase! No, we're gonna get the She hops on with two, it's too soon. Can I see your ID? Sure. Why do you need his ID? You didn't ask for my ID. I have to make sure he stays here. Well, he does stay here. Most of the time, you're on me. returning students are coming back and, and the first thing they did was give me this I'm so happy it's so cute it's me um, and I love it <laughs> it's so cool like Chance is such a talented artist and then I just saw one of my residents um, he's an international student and he lives in Japan and um, he I want to make sure it's facing my way okay he gave me this um, and he said it's a souvenir from Japan he didn't say what it was I think it's an egg <laughs> Um, just just me feeling it and like the egg shape on the front. I think it's an egg um, I'm Vegan so if it's something that you eat I can't eat it but like I haven't opened it yet So I don't know but I'll find out but regardless it was just really nice of him really thoughtful really cool He's he's awesome. I have the best right <laughs> first week of class. This is not my first full week. We started on Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so it's been a pretty wild ride. Um, today I'm actually going to class uh, and then I'm going out to Michael's with a couple of my friends because we're looking for stuff for the Yeti tournament for Nessie Club. I still have to make a video all about Nessie Club one day. I'll get there. I'll get there soon. Maybe. I'm just getting ready for the Yeti tournament. Oh. <laughs> the tiny trophies and the organs in a box. It looks that really looks like confusing if you didn't know what we were thinking. It looks can you confusing even if you did know what we were thinking. Can you imagine the cashier with their look is gonna be like you want organs, tiny trophies, and a caveman? It's just like a bucket of them. Here you go, here, here. 
Thanks for pulling. And then, on my boots. That's about it. So we've got everything we need. We gotta test these paints out. Whichever one we like the best, we'll go with. And then we're good. Okay. And then you have <laughs> I saw Greg dance like that once. <laughs> Wait, no, you gotta do the fire thing. Oh, it's a piece of paper. It's a piece of paper. It weighs nothing. <laughs> In Marine Corps, they, yeah, hold them, they have them hold a piece of paper, but like obviously when you hold your arms out for so long, like it just gets tiring. Hurts, yeah. And they start to like lower and they're like, it weighs nothing. Fire, 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 get out of the building right now. You have 10 seconds to get out of your bed right now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are done. Get out right now. I said get right now. Put your shoes on. Get out of this building. There's a fire right now. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Now, 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 now. And you're like, you're shitting your pants every single... Oh! <laughs> I'm missing a couple organs. Like, a lot. Actually, this this person wouldn't live very long. Oh. The major part is, um, the brain. We kept the brain aside. The bee rain. It doesn't look like a race anymore. Uh oh, we struck. No. Uh oh. I'm choked now. Winner, winner. There we go. One, two, for you. Three, four, some more. Five, six, for kicks. Seven, eight, it's great. Nine. Ten. P -P. Again. P -P. Again. P -P. Again. Oh, <laughs> So the one thing in my life that can be most easily recognized as nothing less than a miracle is uh, finding these shoes, and I'll tell you why. I will give you a list of reasons going from most probable to least probable thing that could ever happen to me. First, um, improbable, but most probable out of the options, a thing that happened was that I found them in a thrift store. These. These. First of all, let me say, I do live in a city, so there's a lot of diversity here, um, but the thing is, well, there, well, there are goths in our midst, there are not as many goths as you would find in uh, New York City. So finding these kinds of shoes in a thrift store, period, is just unlikely. The second thing was their price. Due to the fact that they were in a thrift store, they went for about five bucks plus some tax. These would typically, these are, by the way, this is the, the Pleaser brand, so I, I'm not an expert on prices, I'm not a really a, a shoe aficionado, I'm not even a big fan of shoes, I just wanted some platforms, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, um, to my knowledge, shoes of this caliber go for 60 bucks and up. Not fucking paying that shit, but hell yeah, give them to me. I'll snatch them real quick if they're only five bucks. You would think that my journey would come to an end when I find out that these exist at a thrift store for five dollars. Uh, but no, she didn't stop there. Unlikely. Not today. Not this time. So basically, what had happened was, I found them, I was just like, oh, they're probably really expensive. They're probably like twelve dollars. I know that's not expensive, but let's face it, I am so poor. I realized, oh, no shit, they're five bucks. Crazy. Like, oh, well probably don't fit anyway, but here's the fucking deal. They did. Here's what's crazy about that. Some of you might be thinking, oh, that's cool, I guess, but how is that a big deal? They're just, sometimes that just happens. Sometimes they fit, and that's just a nice little surprise. Not for me, fucko. My issue is that I have children's size feet. I can literally go into the children's section of most shoe departments and find shoes that fit. I own zero pairs of shoes that are actually my size. All of them are too big because I can't find anything in my size. So all my shoes are loose on me. The, if I had to guess, the size that fits my feet the best is size four or four and a half. But my uh, shoes range for anywhere between four and a half to six and a half because that's all that's available to me. These, it doesn't even say anywhere on them what the size is but they fit perfectly. So the unlikelihood of me ever finding these uh, shoes that fit to start with and also are affordable is just, it sounds like something out of a fairy tale, kids, but not to fucking day. Today, I fucking won. So I just thought I'd share that with you and I don't know, maybe give you hope. It's already into the second week of classes. This is the first full week and I'm already to, I'm already, fuck, and I'm already ready to Go six feet under. All right, let's do this. So that was the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe for more videos. Leave a comment if you would like. 
and yeah good stuff i will leave all my social media and links in the description below and i will see you next time bye